Hello, I'm Marek Mularczyk from SAI Training.co.uk and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV, your video podcast about anything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this episode, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Microsoft Surface Pro 3 for Photoshop and Lightroom. <clears throat> so the machine I'm running here is the Intel Core i5 version with the 1.9 GHz processor, which goes up to 2.5 GHz. 8 gigabytes of RAM memory and this one comes with the 256 gigabytes of SSD drive which is plenty for me it's enough for me but you can also get some more you can actually get with Surface 3 you can get up to half a terabyte of SSD and with you can also get a Core i7 as well if you want to and with uh, Surface Pro 4 you can get one to, up to one terabyte of SSD and up to 16 gigabytes of RAM but 8 gigabytes is plenty and so I'm going to keep it open now let's launch Photoshop at this at the same time we're going to open a number of images so you can see how quickly Photoshop opens this is the latest version 2015.5 and loads really quickly I would say similar to the time it took to load it on my previous laptop, the Dell XPS 13 with the Intel i7 processor, 8 gigabytes of RAM as well. Let's open some images here. So get some images. Open some of these here. Here we go. So you can see how quickly they open here as well, really quickly. No problem at all. So good number of images open. I'll launch maybe InDesign at the same time as well. I would agree with what Microsoft are saying that this is the tablet that can replace your laptop. It did replace my laptop and I use it now all the time. I use it for training as well. And so I'm going to open something here. Uh, no, I've got this, say, this document, for example, or I'm just going to click oh, close for now. I'll make a new document as well. Just an A4 document is fine. It's got two documents open at the same time. I'm going to Close this info panel for now. I'll launch the Lightroom as well. Why not? So you can see how quickly it loads as well. Is it loading? Here we go. Might be a tiny bit slower. Now I did some tests on the on the Surface Pro 3 with the which one was it? Uh, this one with the four gigabytes of RAM memory and the Intel i3 processor as well. And it was quite quick as well. Okay. It wasn't as quick as this one, obviously, but it was quite quick as well. So my suggestion would be, if you don't mind your machine being a little bit slower, if you're not an impatient person, even the four gigabytes of RAM version would be just fine. I'm talking about Surface Pro for Photoshop and Lightroom as well. It's just okay. So I'm running Lightroom and Photoshop and so many other applications here. We can do some stuff. So say if I go to one of these images here, and let's say if I grab a brush tool and change the foreground color and do some painting here, it's pretty much instantaneous. And what I really like about this uh, Surface or the Microsoft Pen the stylus that comes with the surface is that when you really close to the screen surface, it's detecting your your tab, your pen, and as I'm I'm actually pressing my wrist against the screen and it's not recognizing it. It's only working on the actual tip of the pen, so you can rest it and you can fold it as much as you want. You can make it almost flat, which is amazing. Not many laptops can do it, and we can do some more layers. So say if we duplicate a layer. Maybe another one, and another one, and add an extra layer, maybe add an adjustment layer as well, color balance, it's all instantaneous. There's no delay in here, really. Okay, And this is the 8 gigabyte version and the Intel Core i5. You can get Intel Core i7, with Windows 7, obviously. So I would highly recommend it. So far, I'm really liking it. It's got a full USB port. It's got a mini display port as well. So I've got it connected to a big monitor right now. It also comes with the micro SD slot. So you can expand memory. So I've got this 
micro SD card with 64 gigabytes of memory in here, but you can also get 120 gigabytes officially. Might even work with bigger ones, not sure, but it does officially say up to 120 gigabytes of memory. So you can get loads of memory, and this is just permanently stored at the back of the surface. You can also detach the keyboard, it comes with a really nice keyboard, and I'm sure you've, you've seen some other videos about it if you're watching this video here. So I hope you enjoyed it, thank you for watching, and something to think about. Microsoft Surface Pro 3 for Photoshop and Lightroom and other software. And that's this episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mularczyk from SAI Training School UK. Have a look on my website for more information about my Photoshop and Lightroom courses. And I hope to see you next week. If you liked the videos I'm creating, subscribe if you haven't already. Or let me know if you have any questions, post some comments. I'll be happy to help or reply and hopefully see you soon on the next episode of Photoshop Lightroom TV. Thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.